Hi, I'm Ollie. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Otterbox Defender versus the Otterbox Commuter for the HTC One. So these are the two cases. With the Otterbox Defender you do get this uh, belt clip. Uh, I'm going to uh, take that out of the review for now because if you're interested in the comparison then uh, you're not going to be interested in this because if you want that then you've pretty much got to go for the Defender. So these are the two cases. Let's just give you an idea of the, uh, the thickness. So you can see there the Defender is quite a bit thicker, it does also uh, weigh a little bit more. So uh, what I'll do, if I just start by uh, opening this up, you get a screen protector built into the Defender, whereas with the Commuter it's actually supplied separately. It's a thinner unit so it is a little bit more responsive. So we just take the HCC1, pop it in here. So it's nice and easy to get the uh, the Commuter off, whereas the, uh, the Defender can be a little bit more awkward. So as you see there you just pop that in. Not that you really need access because the battery is not removable and uh, it's not uh, memory expandable. So uh, with this phone it's not quite as much of a problem. So let's give you a quick look round. I have done separate reviews of these so I'll pop links below if you want to check those out. So you can see they're not the best looking cases but obviously if you're looking at an Otterbox you're looking for protection not, uh, not really looks. So uh, there's just to give you an idea of the thickness. Obviously you can choose whether to apply the screen protector or not. So it does, it does add a little bit of weight, obviously as I've already said it's not the most uh, attractive of cases but you do have the, uh, the benefit that you're still getting a lot of protection. It's easier to take off, you can see there that just clips straight off and, uh, and you've got the phone out so if you're not going to use the case all the time then uh, the commute is well worth considering. Whereas with the Defender, just quickly show you, you have to pop it open as such. So it's a three layer case, you open that up, you've got the, uh, the screen protector built in there. So uh, I'm not a massive fan of screen protectors personally, I uh, just let the uh, Gorilla Glass do its job and, uh, and hope it doesn't get scratched for any reason and so far I've been, uh, been fairly lucky and not had any big scratches on my phone. So with this straight away you've got to work your way around and clip all that in. So that's pretty much the time it takes to uh, put the Defender on, sorry the, auto, the commuter on. So then you have to pop that in here. See all the, uh, the tabs you use are uh, covered here by these protective parts. So if you want to access the headphone jack or anything like that, you've got to uh, bear in mind that with the Defender you do need to uh, to open these little tabs. So you can see there you have to work that all the way around and clip it in. So it does take quite a bit longer to uh, to put on. The, uh, the thickness is, uh, is quite noticeable. It does add uh, extra weight, I think it's about 20 grams more than the, uh, the commuter. So it, it's uh, slightly less attractive than the commuter but not, uh, not a massive amount of difference. So uh, really if you want the ultimate protection then the, uh, the Defender is the one to go for. If you just want a really really good amount of protection still keeping the phone fairly slim line and lightweight then I'd recommend going for the commuter. Uh, out of the two I'd use the commuter day to day, that's my, uh, my recommendation. If you want to see the individual reviews just check out the links below and, uh, and you can watch those through. If you're interested in HTC One case reviews subscribe to my channel, I'll keep you updated. Got plenty more to do over the next few weeks. If this video has helped, if you could like it on YouTube it would be much appreciated. Any questions just ask below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and thanks a lot for watching.